Number 19, calculate the pH and the pOH of each of the following solutions at 25 degrees Celsius for which the substances ionize completely. And then they give us letter D. So we just have to find the pH and the pOH of 2.5 molarity of potassium hydroxide, which is KOH. Now they did give us a little hint and they did say that potassium hydroxide ionizes completely. Another way of saying ionize completely is that this compound will dissociate into its ions 100% of the time. Now they might not give you this little hint on a test or a quiz. So when you see KOH, like stars should be going off, bing, 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 <laughs> um, in your mind, because KOH is a strong base, SB. Now I wrote down here a list of the only six strong bases that exist on earth. So KOH, boop, right there. So basically if they gave you, you know, the five other strong bases, the process of this question will work just like this one. All right. So they will all ionize 100%. So now let's see what's going on. Well, we just have to write down it's going to ionize completely in a balanced equation. So I'm going to start with KOH. And this will dissolve 100% of the time into its two ions, right? But we should notice that we do have hydroxide, that's OH, and that always stays together. So the break would have to be between the potassium and the hydroxide. So this would be K, which is in group one, so that's a plus one charge, and then plus hydroxide, which is OH minus. And it's balanced. It's one to one to one. So now let's just make that apparent, right? All the coefficients here, just make sure that your equations are balanced. It's one KOH for every one K for every one OH. I don't like that. I think I like the black color better. Okay. Now they did say that we're starting off with 2.5 molarity of the KOH. Now, how am I going to find out what these ions are? That's why we looked at the mole ratio. Since it breaks down 100%, that means that you're not going to have any of this at the end, and it's all going to be the ions. And it's going to run just like the mole ratio. Since these are all the same numbers, that means whatever you started with is going to be the same number for both the potassium and the hydroxide ion. So this would be 2.5 molarity, and this would be 2.5 molarity. Now, we are trying to find the pH and the pOH. So I have to use my pH and pOH equations to figure out which one am I going to use. Well, if you notice, I've only used the blue colors here because we're in base territory, right? We're dealing with a strong base. So it wouldn't make sense to even consider the acid equation. And I can't really use this one because I don't have pH or pOH. But I can find out the pOH first because it's always the negative log of the hydroxide. And that's the only number that I care about is that the hydroxide was equal to the 2.5 molarity. In essence, we don't even care about these, but we need to write it down just so that we make sure that we have the right number for the hydroxide. So pOH equals negative log of 2.5. pOH equals Calcitown, <laughs> Calcitown, negative log of 2.5 whoa, this is a negative value, which totally is okay. And just know that the total number of sig figs that you started with is the number of sig figs after the decimal when we're doing pH and pOH. So this should be 0. Point... Ooh, actually, let's see, hold on. This one is a tricky one. This seven will round that up to a 10. So four, zero, because we need two sig figs after the decimal. So it'd be negative point. Uh, 40. Do not get this stuff on your hands. Way basic. Low values on the pOH scale is basic. Now let's see what the pH is. 
Now we can use this formula. We just found out the pOH, 14 is 14, and we can find out what the pH is. But star this up because you're only allowed to use this equation if you're at room temp, which is 25 degrees Celsius. But they did tell us that. So just know that if you have low temps or high temps, you're not allowed to use this formula, but all the other ones here are fair game. So pH plus pOH equals 14. If we want to solve for pH, we could just rearrange this formula by just saying that the pH equals 14 minus the pOH. And then reds go with reds and blues go with blues. So pH, whoop, pH equals 14 minus a negative 0.40. So I get a pH of greater than 14, I mean way basic, 14.40. And that is the end. We found out the pH and we found out the pOH. And this question is done. Woohoo! Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. I love helping you guys out. And I hope that this is good educational content. We also have physics and math videos on, on the channel at the moment. So go check out the channel. And yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.